How do you talk to a God who's invisible? Hi, I'm Jen, and this is the big challenge of praying, isn't it? I want to connect with God. I want to experience Him in a personal way in my life. I want to know what He's saying to me, but how do you talk to a God you can't see? That's just not easy. If you're confused by prayer, if you get frustrated with prayer, welcome to the club. <laughs> so do I. Matter of fact, I don't know very many people who haven't struggled with it. So in this series, I want to invite you to look at it differently because this fresh perspective just might unlock a new way for you to connect personally with your Heavenly Father. Now, Jesus invited us to call God Father, Daddy. Well, that's a very personal term. That invitation alone lets us know the kind of intimate, close relationship that God desires to have with us. It also tells us some things about how God feels about us. For example, what do all good dads do? Well, they love their kids unconditionally. There's nothing a child can do that will make the, a good dad love them any more or any less. Dads wanna spend time with their kids. They always have time for them. They love having conversations and shared experiences with their kids because those moments bond them together and help them know one another better. Dads invite their kids to come to them with problems or challenges. They're always there to support and encourage. And good dads always want what's best for their kid. Even when a dad tells their child no or refuses to do something they want them to do, it's out of a motive that is loving and good. Now, if all those things are true of good dads who aren't perfect, then do you think those things are true of your heavenly father who is perfect? Well, of course they are. And this is the first key to your prayers becoming personal. The foundation of all prayer is recognizing that you are talking with a Heavenly Father who can't wait to spend time with you and always loves you and wants what's best for you. When you become confident that is true, it will draw you closer to God. You'll feel free to talk to Him about anything. You'll want His input and direction on everything. And when God doesn't do what you're asking Him to do, you'll be confident He's still with you and wants the best for you. So think of prayer like conversation and communication. How do you communicate with your best friend? Well, you talk to them often. Your conversations are very personal and relational in nature. You ask for their advice and input when you have decisions to make, you share with them when you mess up. Well, it's that kind of transparency and dependence that draws you closer to them. So the purpose of prayer is to help you get on the same page with God. It's to help you align what you value with what he values, to stay in step and move in the same direction. And that happens through frequent communication. So communicate with God like you communicate with your best friend. Talk to him all through the day because he's always available. Share everything with him because he's interested in every part of your life. Ask him for his direction and input on decisions that you have to make. And when you are struggling or mess something up, tell him. He wants you to bring all that to him. In your friendships, the more you communicate with someone, the closer you become to them. The more you understand how they think, the more aligned you become and what you value and the decisions you make. In other words, the more you communicate, the more you're on the same page with that person. Now, it's no different with your relationship with God. Prayer is the conversation that helps you get on the same page. It's you talking to God and listening to God. Prayer is how you share your life with God. It's your way of inviting Him into your day every day. Prayer is not a religious act that's confined to a sacred building. It's not a ritual that's reserved for your daily routine. Prayer is the vehicle you use to share your life with the one who loves you more than anyone else in this world. Now, in the next session, I'll share some practical tips to help you experience that kind of personal relationship through prayer. But it all starts with believing your Heavenly Father wants that kind of relationship with you. Do you believe? Will you trust Him? Are you confident that He loves you? Will you share your life with Him? The choice is up to you because He is always open to a conversation with you.